fellowship together sir uh, using the besides the iocd and the lumera 700 i use the on and the constellation i use a 3d uh, viewing system by the ingenuity i have no personal financial interest at all i skip that slide because to save time because that slide becomes morbid because everybody keeps showing that so i think there should be a standard slide you can show so i have no personal whatsoever since last four years and uh, so optics behind is a 3d uh, very high definition camera which is attached to the 3d camera is attached to the uh, you know the cd camera is attached to the operating microscope and so you can't see through the operating microscope you could don't have the eyepieces the camera is fitted in the eyepiece the eyepieces are taken off you know the surgeon has to look through passive polaroid glasses at the 4k oled screen which is provided by the ingenuity uh, machine uh, which is a viewing machine only so this is pixelized uh, digitized machine and because everything moving to digital imaging so from analog microscope imaging we are moving to digital imaging on the ingenuity device rtvo is also there as an option so here i'm just doing a real time anyway sorry so that was a very good video uh, so there's a something called data fusion it integrates the constellation uh, tapping machine with the ingenuity device and so everything which is there in the constellation the cut rate the suction the the, the illumination everything is there on the on the uh, ingenuity the ergonomics are extremely good because the patient doesn't have to peer it look into the eye pieces i just got a heads up surgery so here like i'm doing the surgery the microscopes on the right side the mi oct microscope lumera and the constellations view visible on the side and here we have the on the left side i like to keep but if you everybody's got his own choices i keep the screen here and for 3 feet away and i'm looking straight so it's little far away from the patient's eye and uh, i'm looking my back is straight so tone reproduction but i use much less light as i would use in a in uh, analog microscope because the light is very intense when you it reaches the vr viewing system and you actually don't need it the image is enhanced a lot because of the pixelization and these pixels combine to give a very high magnification much more than what you would get in the analog system so you can pick up tiny lesions This is a case of a diabetic vitrectomy done on the ingenuity device, a 3D ingenuity device, and uh, you can see the amount of fibrovascular traction. So you can see the periphery as well as the center extremely well. You get tissue color. There's no pseudo color, and uh, this case had a more of a not a very tight fibrovascular proliferation. The TTPH was not very tight, so I realized there was a cleavage near the disc, and I pulled that cleavage and. created a plane and then the plane i put gently and gently pull the whole hyoid the thick posterior hyoid away from the retina making sure i don't create any break if there is any inadvertent break of course i laser it so you see they by removing the entire hyoid the entire retina became clean and i removed the entire hyoid and then any tiny bleeders are bring the pressure down to 10 and then uh, you don't take care of it and then laser the patient so this is the first post of day of this patient the image quality is extremely good i get very high stereopsis depth if i am operating in the anterior mid vitreous or in the deep vitreous or near the retina so you can see the depth the magnification is tremendous the depth of field is very good 
and the digital technology has totally outperforms in terms of stereo equity. And we have published this data in IGO. And uh, there's less asthenopia because three feet distance, you don't have to accommodate too much. So there's less asthenopia. And uh, I'll show you a small video clip of uh, vitromacular traction, how we do. Uh, you see the periphery is very clearly visible. And uh, we put some, I like to put some tri uh, concentrated trypsilone. We take out the solvent because the solvent is actually toxic. So we use the Jonas technique for removing the solvent. And then depending on how comfortable you feel, you can use the suction of the cutter or you can use the forceps to lift up the posterior hyaloid. IOCT is guiding you a little bit here and uh, you can move the you can move the cutter here, you can move the hyaloid here. Once you remove the posterior hyaloid, things become a little better and uh, the traction also goes up and uh, makes things very easier. The advantage is that patient takes a heads up position. You have filters, yellow blue filters, and uh, these yellow blue filters help to better, they say help to see see the island much better. The yellow filter may actually help you to stay. You don't need to stay in the island, but you may actually may be able to feel the island. And the blue filter is good for uh, showing the vitreous and uh, showing your case which we did on the. It's a recent case done about 10 days back and it's a PBR case with a lot of inferior uh, giant ear and temporal giant ear folded over flaps, non-mobile flaps of the giant ear so we thought we'd take a chance. So after removing the, doing the dissection, we put in perforcarbon liquid in the center, unroll the retina, retina, so we found a lot of retinal cysts. So the edge of the giant ear, we were rolled out edges so we trim the edges of the periphery because by trimming the edges of the periphery the, it becomes fresh and these rolled out edges actually are not required so you can see the amount of cystic changes which are because of old RD. this will all settle down in a day or so so we could this also cystic retina so you don't have to worry about these cystic retinas main thing is get the retina back in position so what we did was uh, you can see uh, Got perfect common liquid inside and uh, make sure that uh, we put some laser under the PFCL. And then I always like to do a PFCL oil exchange. This is the last of the PFCL which came out, and I'll you leave a little tricot crystals. So, right now it's a PFCL oil exchange with tricot crystals left behind. And uh, the patient did extremely well. So all these filters really do help. The digital imaging is a great advantage. And uh, there's no loss of resolution. You can bring up the whole image right up to you. And the image is so enhanced that you can even eliminate the use of the flat lamps. And it's very high magnification. So the enhanced visualization of the periphery is also one very good thing I saw. Thank you so much.